Ooh, I just got super close to dying there. I thought I'd make it into the water, but nope. <laughs> Ooh, I better be a little bit more careful. Welcome back, everybody, to the third episode of my Survival Kingdom. In yesterday's episode, we worked on building up this little uh, terrain around here, made that custom tree up in the top left corner, and we found a zombie spawner and made an XP farm, which I'm super excited about. That is why I'm level 32. In today's episode, though, I want to get started on the foundations and possibly the walls. For my new town, city-type build, it's going to have all of the stuff needed for survival in it, and it's going to be our new base. Um, so, without further ado, let's get started. Ooh, I just got super close to dying there. I thought I'd make it into the water, but nope. <laughs> Ooh, I better... Be a little bit more careful. So I'm gonna take out these trees really quickly and then I'm going to start laying out the cobblestone on where I want the foundations to be. So these two circle shaped things that I just made are going to be the kind of like the towers that are gonna be in between the gates or the gate is gonna be in between which is gonna be right here. So you're gonna be coming in like this and this is gonna be the entrance way and there's going to be like these watchtowers on the side. Now this little area that I've just made here is going to be my kind of like private quarters, my house if you will. Um, and it's going to be right next to this tower and it's going to be kind of like making up the wall on the side if that makes any sense. Now this large section that I'm making out here is going to be my barn. And can we just take a moment to appreciate that tree just floating by itself out in the distance like what a legend dude and now I do believe that the outside is filled in this side was off by one block and I'm guessing I messed up over there somewhere so I just extended the barn because I didn't really want to do that um so yeah the barn is now extended to the opening oh I gotta take this one off then and now I just have to make sure that the inside borders are all laid out and then I will be good to start getting the walls done. So I think I've now finished the foundations for the whole castle and this is what it's looking like. It's not too big but then again like for our first like bigger project in this world it's a good size and so now I'm just going to bring a bunch of chests over I think and move a bunch of resources over and or maybe I won't maybe I'll just leave them over there for now but I'll start building all of the walls up and I think I'm gonna start with these two gatehouses so I replanted all of my sugarcane but the problem is I have sugarcane yeah but I don't have um, cows to give me leather I think I have like 10 leather back at the house so um what I think I'm gonna do is dig a hole as like a little cow pen and I'll get a tiny little wheat patch going as well and that way I'll be able to breed up some cows and kill them to get leather. Okay I got my wheat farm set up and as soon as I get some wheat I'm gonna harvest it get some seeds plant those and drag some cows into this pen. I think I'm gonna call this tower done. Now I'm obviously going to be adding a ton of details later and it's not going to be fully cobblestone in the end. I'm just getting a rough idea of what the city is going to look like and then in a later episode I'm going to detail everything. I've now completed the second tower and I just can't help but think how bad they look without any stairs on the um the sharp corners and all just cobblestone but you know what that's what it's going to look like for a while until I'm able to have all of it built up and be able to actually start putting good detail into it. Aw, oh, you stupid cow. Come on. Aw, oh, you Oh no! No way it just did that. How did it die from that drop? Oh man. Oh, I'm so mad. There you go. I've done quite a bit more work and I finished up these two towers. Um, I think they look pretty good, but they're quite messy at the bottom. Like, it just looks like a whole random jumble. Maybe it's just because it's a ton of cobblestone, but I am going to clean it up a little bit, I think, and just make it look a little bit better. 
After very much grinding, I finally have 45 books and a ton of wood, so it's time to make the bookshelves. Oh, it feels so good. So, I just got killed. Um, yeah. I know, it stinks. I was just getting some more XP, and I was trying to look at something real quick, and I accidentally opened up a block, and I set a... I killed, or I was trying to kill a baby zombie, but since I had fire aspect, set it on fire, and then it set me on fire, and then another zombie came in, and I was losing health from the fire damage really quickly, and I was trying to get my bucket of water, and then I died. So, um, yeah. I mean, I wasn't that far away. I just spawned in the castle where my bed was, but like... That's definitely a pain. Now I'll have to get 30 levels back up. So I've actually done quite a bit of work off camera. I moved this. Um, I was having trouble with a name tag. Um, but I did enchant a ton of stuff. So I have this full set of armor. And I have this iron pickaxe with silk touch. And then this diamond pickaxe with fortune 3. And this diamond pickaxe. I have this sword. This shovel. And this axe, and I don't think I have anything in here. Nope. But that is a lot of really good enchanted gear, which I'm super excited about. I got it all in here. Um, and then I made this tunnel that goes to the zombie farm, if you go down that. So it's an easy access way to there. I haven't done too much work on the castle itself. I decided that I wasn't originally going to, but I'm going to have two towers um, kind of on the side of the stable, just to like even it all out. Um, so there's that. And then one thing that I did work on, though, is in here. This is going to be the entrance to my villager trading center thing. Um, so it's very secure. And in here, though, I have this iron door. And then in this one is a name tagged zombie. Um, I was having troubles with the name tagging part of it. So I was like trying to figure it out and I had to go into 1.15 to do it it must have just been a glitch or something but um so yeah anyway that happened so I did go into 1.15 to name the name tag but that's all and then in here is going to be the villager breeding chamber where I have the two originals and the babies are going to be able to run out under this and into here where I will assign them workstations and give them little homes and stuff thank you all so much for watching this castle is really coming along well. Uh, I got a ton of really good enchanted gear. It's weird that the enchantment isn't showing up on our armor, but I've heard that that's a pretty common uh, bug for 1.16. Um, so yeah, thank you all so much for watching. Make sure that you stay tuned for the next episode where I'll probably go to the nether, and I will see you all later. Peace.